Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we are going to take a look at the second of our Goldberry Roasting Company uh, coffees <laughs> from their contemporary collection. This is Bombadil's blend. This is a bit on the darker spectrum from the Goldberry's blend that we tried prior. Uh, we have notes of blueberry, cocoa, and pipe smoke. So this is very interesting. And if you're into Lord of the Rings, this nerdy stuff really does do it for you. This is one of their 12 ounce bags. You can also get in 16. And I think that they also do some smaller ones, but I, I don't remember. Um, supporting local businesses though. These folks are located in Ashland, Ohio, which I told a story in our first video, but Go check them out, goldberryroasting.com, and I'll put a link uh, down below in the description. I'll put the site down there so that you guys can check them out. But check them out. They do ship, and they have some really interesting coffees. They're not all Lord of the Rings themed, but <clears throat> they are called Gold Goldberry Roasting Company. So <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what aromas we're working with. Because I love the aroma of coffee. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Get open. Jeez. All right. Let's give it a sniff. Okay. Hmm. Oh, man. It's one of the simple pleasures in life, just sniffing coffee. This is a very... It has a very interesting smell. There's a, you know, there's kind of a woodiness. There's a woodiness there. There's a, you, know, you definitely tell it from the smell. You can tell it's a, it's a darker roast than, than Goldberry. Um, <clears throat> there's a butteriness to it, you know, and uh, man. And I, I know that I'm probably being psychologically influenced by the pipe smoke on the bag that we just read. But I am kind of, I am kind of thinking about that. I have, I have like that sort of vision in my head of like sitting on a patio, smoking a pipe and like, you know, getting some, getting some good tobacco from the tobacco store. Not like crappy tobacco, but like tobacco that has a name to it. You know? <laughs> um, I'm actually pretty excited to try this. I know my buddy Lane over at An Unexpected Podcast Talk and Tolkien loves this one. Uh, we had conversed back and forth. I like the Goldberries blend. I think that that's going to be my favorite. But he said his his was the Bombadil. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's see who's right in my opinion. So our coffee should have had enough time to brew by now. Let's go ahead and try this out here. Make sure that my stuff's all lining up <laughs> you know it did have a really pleasant smell once grounded as well because when you when you grind these beans down sometimes that aromatic quality that you get from the whole bean changes a bit and sometimes it's not as pleasant but I actually have to say I really enjoyed the smell of the ground bean maybe even a little bit more than the whole which is interesting to me. So let me go ahead and switch these over because I am indeed right-handed. You know, I've never figured out exactly a great way to do this, but anyway, bottoms up. Let's try Bombadil's blend. Mm. Perfect temperature. Oh, I'm getting better at this. Ooh, man. Bombadil. Oh, Bombadil bringing the heat. Oh, this is, uh, this is great. Oh man, stars align on that one. That is ridiculously smooth. That is ridiculously smooth. There is, um... My, man, this might be one of my new favorite coffees. It is better than the Goldberry's blend. Lane, you are 100% correct. 
I'll be texting you directly after this video to let you know and this will be in the future so you'll know twice if you watch the video <laughs> that this is this is so good um, Wow okay so very very smooth very smooth certainly not like the darkest roast blend not quite as much as I imagined there is an earthiness there but it's not crazy there's a sweetness there which which punches through just on the middle part of the tongue there is a chocolatey sort of aftertaste but it's 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 just if you're just pounding this coffee down you might miss it but if you sit and you're able to savor it like a Folgers commercial best part of waking at DMCA but anyway it is so good wow It's pretty rare that I get like super excited about trying a product, but this is, this is actually really amazing. Um, I might have to buy more of this and it, this might become my daily coffee. Because right now it's a Starbucks mocha blend, which definitely does have more of the chocolatey taste in it. But this is, this is, this is subtle. I bet this would make a fantastic iced coffee. Um, I, you know, they say blueberry. I'm not quite getting that as much. Man, that is a darn good cup of coffee. That is a darn good cup of coffee. So there we go. Bombadil's Blend, if you want to try a new coffee, go to goldberryroasting.com. Again, Goldberry Roasting Company, check them out. They ship. They ship. You can buy this and get it shipped to you if you're out of state and so forth. If you're in the state of Ohio, just head up to Ashland. They have a store. Um, man, that is, that's really good. Goldberry's Blend was awesome. I actually have the bag here too, so. Goldberry's Blend was awesome. It's a, it, it is a different ride. You know, the peanut is in a little bit of chocolatiness, chocolatiness, but that peanut butter oily taste is, is in there. They're both super good. Two of my new favorite coffees, Goldberry Bombadils, they go together like honeycomb and cream, man. It is, it is just, it's so good. I love these guys. We're going to have to uh, check out more of their products in the future because I, I am just so impressed with what they've done with these two blends. Super good. Goldberry Roasting Company, check them out. And for all of you people in the comments at home, in the comments at home, yes, you're at home in the comments down below, let me know what you thought of this. Have you ever tried this before? Um, and also, let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there is anything that you would like to send to the channel to be reviewed, P.O. Box is in the description. Much appreciated. Hopefully you have a great rest of your morning. See ya.